Welcome back to another Hakata Takatsu Ramen's review. Today is episode 11. I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. And together we're Couch Talk. As always, we are anime viewers only, no source material. We're going to assess the episode and give our scores at the end. You ready to jump in? I'm ready. I'm ready. So, right off the bat, we start with Sarushi fighting Phelon. Of course. We figure Sarushi kind of finds out Phelon's a bit stronger than him. So, this is definitely going to be interesting when we get to uh, Lin and Phelon, because Lin's kind of weak. Like... <laughs> Compared to the others, you compared know? to other hitmen, yeah, uh, at least compared to Bomba and Sarushi. And Sarushi, I don't know if he's much weaker than Bomba, as when they fought each other, they kind of were on even footing, right? So I'm just ready for the next episode when Phelan actually has a showdown with them. Yeah, but, but as course, we predicted, they get interfered, right? <laughs> as we said, he gets shot. Falls in the water. Which, it already seemed like he was planning to fall in the water anyway. To, like, get out, because he kept looking over at the water. I just like how Bomba just shows up. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Shoves a paddle in the water. He's like, I helped you, man. Hey! <laughs> and, of course, toys with him. Gets, he's like, yeah, like, he pulls Bomba into the water. He's like, hey, I just saved you. <laughs> Is this how you treat someone? But of course, <clears throat> Phelan used the two that he captured to basically recreate his past and make them kill each other. Yeah. I, that didn't surprise me. No. Not only did he have to kill his friend, I wonder if he made the guy cut off the dude's head as well. Probably. Or if he did it for him. He probably made him do it. He probably made him do it. Made him put it, put it in the box, carry it home. Yeah, put the ring in the mouth. Jesus, That's which the ring was all stuff. part of the elaborate play of some dude, some higher up he killed back in Hong Kong or Beijing or whatever the hell the other places they keep mentioning. I don't remember one of the Chinese things. Uh, but the ring shows that he had great power. So by putting that in the mouth, like. The uh, organization thought, oh, the Shang Wan was like, oh, uh, they must have these important guys <laughs> with him. Oh. Of course, they're just like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> I just, I need to go kill people. <laughs> I like when he's in the restaurant with his manager. I guess, like, I don't know what his manager's name is. I don't think they've said it since the first episode he got introduced. Um, I can't remember his name either. Like, I don't remember it showing up in this episode. I was looking for it, but I don't... maybe I missed it. But, um, but the rest of it, he's like, I just need to kill somebody. And the waiter's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, the waiter's like, oh, I need to get out. I didn't, I didn't hear anything. Because it's like, I don't know, I guess, how would you react if you heard that? You don't know you're in a city of a whole bunch of hitmen. I would not It's just like, oh, all right, this guy's crazy, I'm going to leave my food. Hopefully he gives a good tip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, they don't tip in Japan. Never mind, so you don't worry about that. <laughs> Here, like, please leave a good tip. Don't kill me for your tip back. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Who cares? But, um... Of course, Phelan asked for the information of 100,000 people in the city. I was like, that's a lot of people. What do you need that for? Oh, he was just... He basically just needed the information of everyone in the city. Just so he could find who had the same names that were written the same way as Lin. Got him. This guy loves to kill. Yes. With his and giant then... blade. <laughs> yes. And he was cutting them up and crushing their eyes. He seems uh, a bit upset the <laughs> that his eye was messed up. It was cut, dude. He was hoping he wanted to win and get out, but he lost. So you gotta come and show your your dominance once again. You gotta claim it back. <laughs> with Kai Q and the Shang Wong, they come up with an agreement, basically. Not to mess with each other and to give each other their hitmen. 
Obviously, right. with the Kai Q, that doesn't turn out well, as Fei Lon was able to smell the poison. It's right. like, maybe you should have had an odorless poison, dude. And then he straight up injected a virus. a virus? Jesus. He's like, oh, it, it lays dormant for a week, and then it kills you. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. He's like, I have the antidote. I don't know what he's going to do to give it to him, or if he's even going to give it to him. Because he didn't, like, say, hey, this is how I'll give you the antidote. Right. He's just like, I got one. At least I don't think he said he was going to give him the antidote. <laughs> He, I think he just said, "You do have, do as I say." Yeah, basically. But <sighs> that guy's dead. Kaiku's done for. Kaiku sucks. <laughs> they are done for. The other organization's gonna be done for. Obviously, the uh, Sushi didn't expect his manager to put him to sleep, so of course he falls for the trap. <laughs> but it was lo and behold, it was a set up trap and he wasn't a trap he trapped the trap exactly of course his manager wasn't gonna give him up they're friends they've known each other since high school <laughs> they played baseball together okay and in this world if you play baseball with someone baseball is a everything respected teammate who will never be let down baseball is everything it is the holy uniting sport in this city <laughs> It is, and if you're not on a Hitman team, you're probably not an official Hitman. <laughs> but like, I want to get out of this situation. He's like, you better give me 20% of the cut. I was like, just 20? I was like, like 30. He's like, 15%! <laughs> He's like, whoa. No, you're just going lower. He's like, don't make me kill you. It's like, okay, I'll gladly yeah, give you like, less. Sure. <laughs> He's not a mathematician, okay? Hey, math is hard. When... When you're riled up because you just thought you got betrayed, you're not thinking straight, and you're just throwing random numbers out there. <laughs> Fifteen, fifteen point two. <laughs> but we do get the all-knowing interaction here at the end with uh, Phelan and Lynn finally coming together. Right. But with Phelan wanting them to join together to. <laughs> become rich like that <laughs> you tried to kill me dude i ain't teaming with you this is true you gotta be crazy i mean that wasn't the reason because uh lynn was like he pretty much like i have friends here i ain't leaving yes he's got to this whole episode of wanting to run away with like you know Kita was like told everyone but bob but, yeah, yeah. and they all came they gave him gifts like how the little girl was like Running ways for brats, <laughs> 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 kids. But of course, no one, no one told Sino. <laughs> <laughs> he just showed up. He's like, "Oh, Lin." He's like, "What you gonna give me?" He's like, "Oh, Sino's just the joke." Forget to tell him. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> I thought but... he'd be an important character, but he's kind of just there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I thought he would be too. Like the whole first episode was set up for Sino, and then it's just, yeah, he's just. Your true side care that shows up on occasion. <laughs> but all their efforts helped Lynn make the decision that he wants to stay. He loves the city. He likes the people. Right. And Phelan pretty much declared, I'm going to kill them all. Yes, exactly. And we do learn, like, after Phelan was almost killed, he was sold off to someone who liked to torture kids. So, between eh. the assassination camp... And then getting tortured your rest of your way out. Probably shit. Eh. Shit life. That's karma. You betrayed that your is... best friend. <laughs> or tried to. Well, you did betray him. You tried to kill him. But what, what, what caused the karma before that? Because the karma kind of works in a way like... There was... Why did he have bad stuff? Why was he sold off as a little kid in the first place? There's no karma there. So karma doesn't exist in his life. Well, you know what? <laughs> now he has to have a showdown between him and Lynn. And that's what we're going to get. Because next episode is the final episode. So. Oh, the final. Excitement. The finale. The finale. We're all coming to a close of Lynn. 
It is he, fast, maybe. Let's be honest. Phelon's dying. 100%. Yeah, he He's gonna die. Yep. Bamba's gonna do it. He's gonna get baseball. Bamba's somehow. gonna save the day. He's gonna baseball him to death. Lynn ain't baseballing anyone to death. <laughs> oh, he sucks at baseball. But that does it for the episode. You wanna jump to the scores? Sure. You uh, want, oh, you want me to go? Uh, no, no, I'll go I'll, first. Okay, okay. No, no, you go. Okay, I will go. No, I'll go first. Seven and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I will give it a seven and a half. It was, it was a bit, you know, it kind of just laid a lot of things out. I was hoping for, uh, for a showdown between Phelan and Lynn, <clears throat> and Lynn but of course you got to save that for the finale. <laughs> Um, I I think it's always funny how when people are dying and getting murdered, they plays that like jazzy music, that like good feeling jazz. It's like do 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 do, pow 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 pow, do 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 do. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me, but I mean it, it follows its standard. Just a fun episode, like exactly. hey, it's just fun, and it's it just kind of set up for the finale, really. Yeah, exactly. So, I would give it a seven. Just like you say, it's just a setup episode. Uh, always getting the little Sido humor in there. Like, even baseball, you gotta have both of those in each episode. You gotta have a little Sido joke in there. Then you gotta have a little side of baseball. Um, but I really, I'm just excited for the next episode to see the final showdown. Let's go. And they just did their job of setting that up. Phelon versus pretty much everyone. Yes. Because well, obviously, I know Sarushi and Bamba are going to get involved somehow. Right. But I'm ready. Um, and Lynn's already there, so I'm going to see how this fight goes down. Woo! Does it for our review. All right. Give us the pre finale spiel. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and if you're liking, you better be hitting the subscribe and, <laughs> and notify, hit the notification bell to be notified every time we upload. Comment down below, let us know what you thought of the episode, what you did, didn't like, what you would score it. Uh, just no confirming denying theories, we're anime viewers only. Um, both of us stream on Twitch, links are in the description below, be sure to check those out. And until next time, peace out. See ya.